We welcome to our backstage studios a singer whose musical journey begins thousands of miles from here. Anna Nyakana was raised in the former Soviet Republic of Moldova. Her mother was Russian, her father from Uganda. Her dual heritage flows through her music today. Now she learned to read music at eight, taught herself the guitar at 14, and could play classical piano by 16. Now living in the States, this promising young singer has a self-titled debut album out. And before we chat with her, let's listen to her song, Make It Someday. Lost in the woods this one day I think it was the third week in May But suddenly all my clouds fade away Now what do you say? I found a path by my way Now what do you say? I found a path by my way Will it lead me to a golden land? Will it lead me by the sea? My true love, I'll make it someday. I know I'll make it someday. Now I'm walking the path, and I see only animals and trees around me. The east wind blows a sweet melody. The path is getting deeper, and it's waiting for me. The path is getting deeper, and it's waiting for me. Will it lead me to a golden land? Will it lead me by the sea? Will it lead me to my true love? I'll make it someday. I know I'll make it someday. is finished and I'm here at last. This is the same place I left from the past. Only now I know my journey's complete. Kick the dust off my feet. Life is waiting for me. Kick the dust off my feet. Life is waiting for me. Will it lead me to a golden land? Will it lead me by the sea? To my true love, I'll make it someday. I know I'll make it someday. Will I save the whole world with just one song? Will it take me 20, 30 years long? Will I finally get to see the day that I'll make it someday? I know I'll make it someday. Will I finally get to see the day? Will I finally get to see the day? Will I finally get to see the day that I'll make it someday? I know I'll make it someday. And the self-titled album, once again, is Anna Nyakana. Boy, you just have a lovely voice, but your story you. is just so fascinating. <laughs> Take me back. Take me back. Growing up mm -hmm. in Moldova, you started singing at an early age, right? Right. We would sing at it. I would sing at an early age. You know, every day we would basically walk back and forth, whether it be to the market or to church. And I would just sing in the streets, and people would usually gather around and listen. And it was quite a show for them. And when did you move to the United States? I moved to the United States when I was about seven years old, so it was an adjustment for us, but not as hard as most people think it is. Well, there were big adjustments because you were used to going, what, to an outhouse and pumping your own water in, uh, in the Soviet Republic of Moldova. So right. you see your first toilet, so to speak. I mean, what was life like for you all of a sudden? Oh, I thought I was a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> So even though we came from the struggle, it was a great opportunity here in the States to really take anything that you want to do and actually have an opportunity to do it. It was a great adjustment for us. And so how did we get you to this point? How did you work on developing a CD? I mean, it's not easy, and you have developed quite a following. Thank you. How did, how did it start? Well, it all started when I decided I wanted to take things into my own hands, and I started an entertainment company, which I'm co-CEO of, called VOP Entertainment stands for Voice of the People, and I said, you know, let me just start recording some songs, and gradually I started writing, composing, 
put an album together. I produced it, arranged it, did all the vocals and instruments on it, and then pressed them out. And the next thing I know, I, we had a manager and a booking agent. We started, <laughs> started doing shows Bingo, and huh? traveling and whatever we needed to do, sleep in the car. We were there. So. And tell <laughs> me about the Starbucks competition that you entered. Yes. So last year when I debuted my album, I entered into a Starbucks Music Makers competition. And at the semifinals, there was actually an online vote, which anyone on the World Wide Web could vote. And I actually won the online vote from all the fans, which was, meant a lot to me. Congratulations. So, and did you. somebody else win a judge's vote? Or how I did it believe work? so down the road. There may, yeah. I think there was like another finals. But for me personally, that's the one that meant the most to me, just for my fans all around the world knowing that they you had the me. Al Gore popular vote. I'll you take won. that. I'll take that. <laughs> Your music is so unique. Who were Thank your influences you. growing up in Russia? The well, Soviet Union, I should say, at the time. Even in the Soviet Union, we just listened to a lot of music in the church. However, when I moved to the States, I was exposed to many different types of music. And some of my biggest influences are Bob Marley, Corinne Bailey Ray, Ben Harper, Ayo. Definitely people who have a message and have a little bit of a cultural sound to them. Well, your first song that you sang for us was you trying to make it someday. I think you really are making it, but what is your dream? What do you envision you. for yourself at this point? Wow, what do I envision for myself? Yes. It's not even like? so much for myself. I would really like to be on a level where everyone can know my music and take that spotlight that I have and really shed it on all the issues that are going on in the world, especially for the people that are suffering around the world, and use that, my name that I have, and maybe that platform to be able to speak, be that speaker for people who may not have a voice, and hence, which is voice of the people, which is why I named my entertainment company that. Oh, so. that that's wonderful. And okay. your father is from Uganda. Have you been to Uganda? Yes, I've been. To, actually, I've not been to Uganda. I've been to Kenya, um, but I plan to go to Uganda very soon. I was actually in the Ugandan Observer, and they quoted me, so I have to go to Uganda oh, before I go, go anywhere else You'll in be Africa. A rock star there. That's I said great. I have to go there first before I go anywhere. So, <laughs> oh well, you're on your way. Thank and if you. people want to see you on tour or buy your CD, yes. where can they go? They can go to ananayakana.com, or for those that do MySpace, myspace.com backslash ananayakana. My tour dates are on there, and if you do iTunes or Amazon.com, you can find my album. Well, we recommend it. It's beautiful. Thank we you. get a treat. Another song from you. What are you going to sing for yes, us now? My next song is on my album. It's called I'll Take You. Great. Such a pleasure. Thank and I you love very your much. story. I think a book is also in your future, yes, too. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Anna. Thank you very I'll get much. Out of your way. Okay. okay.